Hey YouTube, this is JD Hacks, and um, I'm here to show you how to jailbreak your iPod Touch 2G with um, 3.0 firmware. And um, yeah, you're gonna uh, you're gonna benefit a lot from this if you haven't already uh, jailbroken your iPod, because it's a wonderful thing. Okay, so uh, first of all, we're gonna plug in the iPod Touch, and um, yeah, great. I'll see you then. Hello again YouTube, um, as you can see I've plugged it in, not a, not, a, not a hard thing to do. Now right here, what we can see is Quick Freedom. Now I haven't got a link to it but I'm sure if you googled it you'd be able to find it. So what you want to do is you want to click on iPhone Touch 2G, jailbreak your iPhone Touch 2G with 3.0 firmware. So you give that a click. and. Uh, step one, firmware location. So what you want to do is you want to browse for your firmware. There, now, I browsed for it, I found it, 3.0, restore, next. Now, I'm not going to install IC this time, but basically it's a fast Cydia. I don't like it myself though. So uh, anyway, you can download it from Cydia manually if you choose to. So then click next. And now what it's going to do is it's going to jailbreak. It's a beautiful, beautiful vision thing to see. Now I'm going to have to stick it in DFU mode in a moment. So, um... Oh, right, I've got to stick it in DFU mode now. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to place it somewhere. Hold on. I'm sure there will do if I put it here. Right, so... Connect my iPod Touch, power it, oh, it's my computer, and power it off. When I'm ready, click next. So I've powered it off, like this. Not many people know how to do that. I do. It takes a couple of seconds. Now, this is a fast thing to do. you got to hold down the power button for three seconds, and then when you're holding the power, you gotta hold home again and keep that held for 10 seconds then release power but keep holding home for 15 seconds it's mental what the, why is the Apple logo popped up? I just switched it off it's charging, ah you can, can you switch it off whilst it's plugged in? I'm pretty sure you can I'm sure I've done it before Power off, you daft sod. <sighs> I wasn't expecting this to happen. There, right. Hold on. Bloody hell, I just powered it on. Crap! I'm not cutting this out because I don't know how. I don't know how to hack iPods. I'm not a computer. Well, I am a computer genius, but. Let's keep to the basics. So you power it off, and then when it's powered off, you gotta click next on the D. You gotta click DFU help on this. Oh my god! I'm just gonna give it a whirl and see if it works. It should do. It will do. I'll make it. As you can see, I'm pretty sure that pretty soon it goes to a white screen. I don't know. Oh, it started jailbreaking. There we go, white screen. Told you. So now it's jailbreaking. Mental. I'll just let you watch the process. It's an interesting one. See, look, downloading jailbreak data. So I'll just bring the... Um Camera from a makeshift little stand look. It's going across in like a little percentage bar, so I'm gonna put that down. I've done this before, mind you, but it just seemed a little easier last time I jailbroke it. Oh, 
obviously, once I've shown you how to jailbreak it, there'll be many more interesting videos to come, such as like my top apps and how to install them and how to use different apps and just general stuff that you can do with the jailbroken iPod. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. I mean, this is the main thing. How to jailbreak it. Not many, not many people know how. It's actually surprisingly easy when you've got a little uh, program like Quick Freedom. Now, Quick Freedom is like totally beta, but it worked for me. And it'll work again. The problem is it doesn't replace your boot logo like Quick Pone. So, that could be considered a slight problem. But, I don't know. I never switch it off anyway. I just lock it. Does the job. See, look how fast it's going across. I mean, then it goes into uh, the iPod itself and does this thing with a pineapple. And it's interesting. But yeah, this was the um, Dan Cool 999, the first guy to uh, jailbreak a 3.0 firmware 2G iPod, I presume. By the way, that this is beta and everything. And he did it before Quick Pwn. So he rules in my books. Anyway, I'll pause it. In fact, no, no, I won't pause it because I don't know, you might want to see Right, see now look, it's doing some new stuff. It's RAM uploaded, uploading all the kernels and stuff. Now, I, I always thought kernels were to do with popcorn until I got into jailbreaking, but they're not. <laughs> that was a really cheesy joke. I'm sorry about it. I won't do it again. But yeah, 98% complete. Thank you for using Quick Freedom. Jailbreak will complete when you see your home screen. So yeah. Now all the stuff's there, it's just got to uh, do it. It's only 99% complete though. I've got to stress that, got to stress that. I don't got to stress that really. But yeah, it's, it's an interesting um, process. I see, it applied red snow. Ah, oh, there we go, look, flashing the gnaw. Flashing the gnaw. A little pineapple thing, which you'll recognise. That's the uh, jailbreak logo thing from Quick Pwn. Yeah, it flashes the gnaw. I, I don't know what half of these terms mean, I'm just going to uh, say them to you. You might know more than me. I doubt it because you probably wouldn't be using a tutorial. I, I don't know. No, it's just installing the bundles. Yeah, it's installing the bundles. It's really simplistic when you have the right software. It took me a while to do. I installed. I looked at a few um, things on YouTube. I couldn't find like one that worked, and then I just searched around a bit and found Quick Freedom. Now I don't know what happens if you uh, finish Quick Freedom before. It's finished doing this, so I wouldn't. It's, re it's rebooting it now. So, in the space of one night, I'd say an hour, I have de-jailbroken it and re-jailbroken it. So, I'm quite happy about that. And there we go. So I should simply have one new icon now. And there it is. Sidia. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.